Smart deployment for ADM service greatly simplifies the provisioning and configuration of Citrix ADCs in public cloud environments. To begin, log in to Citrix ADM service and go to Networks, Agents, Setup Agent, and then get started. Two deployment types are available. In this demo, we'll use Smart Deployment to connect and build out our fresh, unconfigured VPC in AWS. The first step is to create a Cloud Access Profile. This enables the ADM service to provision resources in AWS. Save the ready-made CloudFormation template and upload it to AWS by using a new Cloud Stack and providing this as a new template. Give the new stack a name and either take the defaults or customize it as needed to suit your environment, such as using a custom tag to track the resources used. Next, take the role ARN output from the cloud stack and put it in the cloud access profile. ADM service is now able to retrieve our resources from AWS. Choose the region and empty or fresh VPC in our AWS subscription. And in this case, I've created an empty VPC with the CIDR block of 10.101. Click Next and provide the name for the autoscale group for this deployment. Choose one or more zones to deploy the ADCs into, and then choose the deployment type. In this case, we'll deploy an unlicensed cluster of VPX Express instances for evaluation. Before the service can create the instances, we'll want to follow the links to the AWS Marketplace and subscribe the account to both the software images for ADM agent as well as the VPX instances. ADM service does all the heavy lifting by creating the network resources and by deploying the ADM agent and cluster of ADC instances. In this case, the ADM agent enables ADM service to manage and monitor the ADC instances. Comprehensive details are available throughout the deployment process. We can find the instances ADM service deploys by taking a look at our EC2 instances and by filtering the search. We're now ready to configure our deployment for a web application. To do this, we click Deploy Application, give it a name, and the beautiful part with this integration is we can restrict its availability and can either give it a custom domain name or let AWS create one for us. Choose the protocol for the front end and then pick the style book for our application. In this case, I already have an autoscale group for my web servers. To use this autoscale group, choose the type cloud and enter the name of the autoscale group in AWS. We can also put in a static IP for the backend servers when not using autoscale groups, or we can use the fully qualified domain name that our servers might already have. And in this case, the ADC will resolve the IP addresses of the servers dynamically in case they need to change when, uh, say, they're redeployed or moved to new locations. Additional settings are available in the default stylebook to support any environment. Now let's push the config. ADM service creates new IPs both internally and externally if needed. In this case, a new domain name is returned by AWS and we can directly go to it with our newly created cluster of ADCs. We can see how our app is performing by immediately going to the application dashboard in ADM, where we can see the overall health of the app, including its infrastructure and the backend servers. Because this is a brand new deployment, I don't yet have statistics to show, but in time, we'll see everything from client latency to how the app is being used and performing, and we'll get this automatically without having to do any additional configuration. Smart deployment with ADM service is just one of the many ways Citrix improves the way we work in new and rapidly changing environments.